So is the article right? Yeah. These spandex were much more absorbent than the rayon blend. And these custom-fit lycras? Super comfy. <laughs> Not as effective were these lightweight microfibers. And they're pretty soaked. Not as soaked as these. These are sopping wet, sopping with sweat. Man, it was hot out there today. What was the temp? It's only 48 degrees this morning. Hmm. Maybe you're so hot because you're wearing so many layers. Nah, that's not it. How many pairs of shorts do you have on? Eleven. The more pairs, the bigger the bulge. It's good, but they're also padded in the back. Kind of looks like you had an accident. Maybe I did. What are you doing in here? Why are you on my computer? I'm just checking your emails. Okay, this is an invasion of privacy according to code 137D of the employee handbook. Yeah, well, I think uh, Casey's about to invade your privacy tonight, and I hope that date sucks. Excuse me. I hope you get hepatitis A. And B. Okay, technically, you can't have both at the same time. Thank you, Paula. I didn't know you had a date. Casey's my therapist, and he's a man. He's a great listener. Rumor is that John Heater of Napoleon Dynamite and Blades of Glory fame is expanding his proverbial horizons by becoming a workout guru. Hmm, interesting. Let's do this. Let's do this. I just said that. It says here, to give the authentic impression of a plumber, you need to expose at least one and a half inches. Got it. What's up? How can I help you guys? Hi. Um, we're plumbers. And one of your toilets is broken. Well, how would you know that? This is a six bedroom, six and a half bath residence. With the average toilet experiencing problems twice a year, that means there's a 68% chance that one of your seven toilets is not functioning at 100% capability 24-7. I don't know what you just said, little man, but it sounded convincing. I can repeat it if you want me to. Check out my waterfall. It's pure hand sanitizer. Go ahead, clean up. Some place. Yeah, when I moved in, I added six extra half baths just in case. So, I guess you boys have your work cut out for you. Oh, by the way, do you work out by any chance? Uh. Yeah? Have you tried that new underwater spinning fad? No. I'm a purist. I, I understand that spinning underwater creates friction and everything, but you lose the most important element of exercise. Heat. Our bodies need to be elevated to a certain core temperature in order to most efficiently shed the calories. Whoa. You seem to know a lot about exercise and nutrition. Follow me. Fact. You two need to lose weight. That's an opinion, that's not a fact. Yes, it is. You guys are really, really fat. Now you're just insulting us. Guess I could lose a few pounds. Trust me, you guys are obese, okay? And I'm gonna help you get skinny, but first, I need you to help me. How? You guys are gonna be in my new workout video. What? My last two backup exercisers couldn't be here today because of technical difficulties. Ah! So what do you say? Hello, Out of Shape people. I'm John Heater. I hope you're ready to get ready to turn up the heat. This is gonna be the hottest workout of your lives. Step one, turn up your thermostat as high as it can go. It's over 117 degrees in here right now. Hey John, you think we can turn the heat down a tad? No, this is not called turn down the heater with John Heater, no. You ready for your first exercise? It's called the heater chest beater. On three, you guys. One and two and three and go. And ah! 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 Come on! Come on! Hey, I said no water! Okay? Not again. One, two, three. I'm gonna kill him. Yes, heat stroke. That's the way you do it, brother. Let your heart burn. 
think we should call an ambulance. No, call the fire station. Because <laughs> he's on fire! <laughs> <laughs>